All right, welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be looking at unlimited titles. This is a blog title generator. It is using the uh, power of OpenAI right here. It uses OpenAI to generate titles for you without any input. They're putting their own kind of blog and Google uh, sauce to their own algorithm uh, to pump out really good titles for bloggers. Uh, now, if you are uh, going off of a keyword list, which most people doing SEO or blogging are, um, then you may not need a tool like this. But if you, this tool would be perfect for if you don't want to do any keyword research and you um, have run out of keywords and you just want to go in here and go to one of the categories and just push a button and then it's going to pump out a title for you. Um, you're of course, if you're depending on the the type of blog you have, how many pages you already have on your site, or if it's a brand new site, that will determine how much time you need to actually look at the title and see if you already have that information on your site. Have you already done a similar post or not? Um, but we're going to go ahead and look at this. Um, I kind of went over to the website and you can come over here and look like right here. Um, it came up with a title, how to use Pinterest for uh, business. Um, that would probably be a really good, like that's a keyword you're probably going for. So that's really good. But then you have five tips that will drive more traffic and engage customers. That might be too long of a title. Um, but right now for the demo category, it's under marketing. So you would just push generate and it's going to go generate another title for us. How to create an opt-in page that gets more clicks. Um, so, you know, you may be going after the keyword, how to create an opt-in page. Um, but it's adding in more uh, information like that gets more clicks. That's going to actually be a more enticing title on Google to actually for someone to click because it's telling someone how to do something, but then also telling them what uh, result they'll get as well. That's always a, a good way to write titles. Um, even if you're uh, creating a course or something like that, you want to tell what result people, someone will get, but then what they will actually learn in the course all combined into like one title. So overall, I mean, I've been messing around with this for a few minutes. <clears throat> so far, it looks really good. Um, I didn't don't really have any interest in uh, purchasing this uh, particular software, but um, in order to do a proper review for you guys, I think I'm going to have to. Uh, I don't think that just me sitting here pushing the generate button <laughs> with the demo category marketing um, that that will do justice. So I'm going to have to go ahead and purchase the software for you guys, just so I can uh, show you guys what you will get. If you actually purchase the software, um, this is how to get more customers and increase sales by using pay with a tweet. I don't even know what that is, but it seems like it's coming up with some pretty cool stuff under the marketing category. Um, here's all the categories that they have right now. Looks like three, six, nine, 12. Um, I'm actually uh, impressed that they have cooking and recipes, um, business consulting, we were on the marketing one right there, um, AI and machine learning. That's really cool that they actually have one of their categories as this, because I talk a lot about this kind of stuff, UI, um, and UX design. That's cool. Um, that they actually have an entire category for that. Some of the pop popular ones, fashion, health and fitness, beauty, crypto sustainability. Uh, that's really, really good real estate and spirituality. So they're working on more categories. Uh, basically, each one of these categories is specifically trained to bring, um, to give you specific titles um, for that category. So really, really cool stuff. Another um, thing that we could use this for, uh, looks like they have a, a pretty nice looking website. If you don't pick up the lifetime deal, the lifetime deal is going to be $29. If you don't pick up the lifetime deal, then you actually have to pay $14 per month for the tool. May as well pick this up. Basically, you pay two months and then you get it for uh, life. I'm sure it's only going to get better. They're going to add more and more categories. Um, another use case that I was thinking of, you can use this for um, YouTube. And that's actually what I would be interested in um, is this creating a a subject for you, a title, um, for YouTube, for YouTube channels and stuff. So, um, we're going to go, let me go and, uh, finish looking at the, um, sales page over here on AppSumo. This is where you'll pick up the lifetime deal. It's $29. It's not stackable. Um, and then also, um, we'll just come through here. It's best for bloggers, copywriters, solopreneurs, um, integrations with blogger elementor and wordpress I'm not really sure what the integration would be um, because i don't think it's an all out um writing um ai writer um, you could see how they may add that in the future um that would be the natural progression i would say but maybe they just want to be uh, stick to being a really good blog title creator so you can read through all that i don't see any announcement from the founder i like to see them 
introduce themselves, where they're coming from, what their experience is. Um, twenty nine dollars. It may seem like a really good price point, but you know, I mean, in this tool, it doesn't. I don't know how much we're getting. I'm just gonna have to go and log in so we can see. But you are gonna get unlimited SEO title spend, so we um, we get to use the basically use the tool as much as possible. So that's really cool. Access to all categories, Google optimized title structure, um, open AI GPT three based title generator and priority support. It's got some good reviews, only five reviews so far. I'm going to go purchase it and I'll be right back. Okay. Easy peasy. We are inside the software unlimited titles. Welcome aboard. Step one, select your category. Step two, generate your blog title. Step three, copy and enjoy. Um, this is going to be one of the most simple softwares that I've ever tested on LearnWire. You literally click a button, it gives you a title. Um, and of course, if you have, you know, Jasper or you have uh, Word Hero or you have, there's just so many different, I can't even uh, begin to try to name all the AI writers that can do this for you. Um, they all, all of them already have blog generators already. The difference, because this is going to be the big question that you guys are going to probably try to, um, you know, ask in the comments, the difference between getting this software unlimited titles and using one of those other ones is that this one, and I haven't really tested it a whole lot. So I'm only speaking for what I've learned about the software, not based on use, but basically the difference and why someone may want to purchase this um, and use it in addition to their other AI writers is that these models here are specifically trained to give you a good Google optimized title for SEO and also to optimize for getting more clicks if you rank um, and specifically inside of each of these categories. So that is the main separator is that this is going to be basically a more, a more powerful blog title generator. Let's go in and um, I'm going to look at spirituality actually. Uh, interesting because I haven't seen that. Um, why am I getting this? I'm going to have to go sign in. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got several emails from unlimited titles. Um, I went and reset my password. And for whatever reason, it still says status is processing right here. Uh, so I'm not able to use the software. It's not letting me. Um, that's kind of a big bummer, especially for something that's so simple to use. And I'm already kind of having a headache uh, to try to use the software. Um, and then I'm not seeing any help section as well. Like, so here's what's happening. Start generating. I am logged in and I, it does say that I'm on a lifetime deal, but then I go to any of these and it just says, get started and says to buy right now. So it's not, um, it's not working for me. And, um, I think that even the further, um, issue that I'm seeing is that I'm not seeing anywhere that where there's a help section, right? I'm not seeing any where I can get help in here. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and pause this. I will continue the review once I get this sorted out. Hopefully we can get this sorted out pretty quickly. Um, and I'll be back. All right, thanks. Okay, so it's a day later, I'm back to finish this unlimited titles AI um, review. And it took about 24 hours for them to get back to me with customer support. I did leave him a question on the AppSumo page. AppSumo quickly uh, answered and kind of gave me one of their email addresses. So I actually had two email addresses from unlimited titles for their support, <clears throat> emailed them and um, it took around a day, but uh, you know, I'm not going to say too many bad things about that because there's been plenty of softwares where I reach out to support and I never, uh, it's just crickets, I never hear anything at all. So I'm glad that they answered me back and I was patient. Uh, this is one of the soft softwares that for whatever, for whatever reason, um, and he actually did make a custom video for me, but um, we, I'm logged in on um, an incognito window. So we're in an incognito window in order to get this uh, to work. Um, you know, I don't really know how I feel about that. I shouldn't have to go into an incognito window to use a, a cloud-based software, but uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so let's continue. We have um, the all the categories right here. I'm going to go and just kind of sample um, each one uh, just a little bit for you. So I'm going to click on the AI machine learning. And then this is what it's going to look like right here. And all you're going to do is just push generate and it's going to go out there and find titles, how to create a self-improvement app using machine learning. So um, just think about that. Like if you have a YouTube channel or a blog, it's doing all the work for you. You don't have to think, and it's going to generate something very specifically with the AI machine learning um, industry, uh, the future of AI, how it could help those with uh, dyslexia. That's really cool. 
um, it'll, it's going to produce uh, ideas that you never would have even thought of, right? Um, how tracking data helped me consistently exercise for two years. Uh, so crossing over uh, AI using um, kind of crossing over to fitness. And then right over here into comedy as well. 10 interesting AI questions that will make you laugh. Um, that's kind of cool. And then you could go into one of your AI writers and, you know, actually write that blog um, post. Now, I'm not really sure, like, so some of them, you know, if it's, n if there's no search intent, um, you know, keyword phrase, uh, you know, you guys, uh, if you made it this far in the video too, um, you know, leave a comment, like, how do you think people find this stuff? Because, you know, I do find blogs that get, you know, hundreds of thousands of visitors per month or even millions. And they write posts like this, that like, no one's really typing this in, but somehow it ends up getting, um, tens of thousands of visitors for these kind of, because people, these are interesting titles and interesting information that people would like to, um, to read, but it's not necessarily something that people are searching for. So that is kind of the, the big debate on this is that how are you going to get that search traffic? But nonetheless, these are really nice titles. The internet has had enough of these stupid, embarrassing AI errors. I probably wouldn't write anything about that. AI photo editing software, bring your photos to life. That's cool. Let's go check out one of the other um, categories. So we're just going to click on categories up here. I'm going to go back over to what's business consulting. We'll check that out. Push generate. And we've got how to make a business last the five essential lessons uh, from parenting. So that one does not make any sense at all. How to make a business last the five essential lessons from parenting. Uh, that one obviously makes no sense at all. So we just push generate again. What should I expect from an AI marketing company? That one kind of crosses over to that AI um, as well. Why home business ownership is the best option for you. That one could be pretty cool. Um, how to grow your franchise with other franchises. Um, keep going. What is franchising? So you're just going to keep going through here. Uh, six ways you can improve your workflow and make more money as a copywriter. So this one would be really, really good as a YouTube video, right? So um, I'm thinking more that I actually can use this software probably for like some of my YouTube channels. I think that that one is a really, really good one. I'm actually going to copy that one and I'll put it into a, a notepad. And so maybe you would just paste it into your notepad and just keep going. Seven reasons to hire a salesperson for your business. Well, they're going to make sales for you. How to start a home business that will get you out of debt and on your way to wealth. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to copy that one as well. So I think that this one is a, is a good one, especially for one of my YouTube uh, channels. I think that this one could come in handy, this business consulting one. And then now you're just getting ideas for, uh, like I said, I think that I would use this more for actually YouTube. Um, we're going to keep going through here. Let's check out the cooking recipes. I'm sure a lot of you would be interested in this one. There's a huge market for cooking, um, uh, recipe blogs, uh, the greatest secret to making a delicious homemade walnut pesto. Okay. So this is cool and all, but again, if you're trying to rank for a walnut pesto recipe or, you know, how to make walnut pesto or something like that, um, you know, adding all this in right here, this helps you get, maybe possibly gets you a click, but this you're wasting that SEO power by not having this at the, at the title, at the top, right? So by not having this in the very front, maybe you would reword it. You would just put walnut pesto recipe and then like a colon, and then you would put the greatest secret or something like that, right? But that's going to be the biggest debate. Are these, you know, um, these are the ones that get maybe are optimized for. And then at the end, end of the day, what is in your content and your title? And then Google decides that it's going to rank your content for several different keywords. And um, it seems as though Google does favor these types of titles. And that's what this is supposedly based on is real world titles that you would actually want to use. So the best gluten free uh, crepes recipe ever almond oat banana crepes. Actually, that looks pretty cool. So you just keep pushing generate uh, 10 cooking hacks uh, you can actually do now. That'd be great for YouTube as well. The easiest stir fry um, udon recipe ever and a uh, vegan super bowl. So that one's really, really long title. The easiest and best Yorkie puddings recipe. Is that actually a uh, dog recipe? Um, interesting. Go back over to categories. Just want to show you all the different categories. Maybe over here, UX, UI design and see a couple of those. What is design thinking? 
uh, 10 tips for successful website redesign. Um, one thing I do like, and remember these do, these can do well for blog posts and very well for videos, YouTube videos. Um, but what I do like is that you know, so far it seems very fast. Uh, the difference between a good and bad blog design. Um, I like how fast it is. 10 UX practices you should be using on your website. Um, you know, another question that we might be having is, you know, how often is it going to produce this exact one right here for other people? Um, so we're not all getting the same stuff, right? Um, if you highlight this, just um, so you know, if I'm, I'm left click and I'm hovering over that, when I let go of the left mouse, um, it's already copied. So I, I think that's really cool. A guide to effective user onboarding best practices. Let's go back to categories. I'm gonna go to health and fitness now and generate summer produce hacks to make your healthy eating a breeze. Um, here's why fitness parties are happening and how to host one. That's interesting. Um, A's fitness classes, November. Um, three stretches for opening up tight hips. Uh, five best fitness blogs for women. Now, the ultimate guide to preparing yourself for a zombie apocalypse. That's really great for fitness, right? Um, obviously, some of this is hit and miss. Um, how much does it cost to start a fitness business? <clears throat> cool stuff. But one thing that I guess I would say immediately is that you can't target. So health and fitness, there's probably hundreds of small niches that are underneath that health and fitness umbrella. It's just way too big to tackle. So you're going to, you might find yourself just clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking. And how much time are you actually wasting um, by clicking on this massively broad niche to find something that actually fits your niche, right? So um, you're going to have to, we'll have to think about the, um, the use case, right? We have to think about the use case um, of, for this. Um, the best ways to terminate a tenancy in your property, 10 ways to make real estate more fun with a carnival theme. I don't even know what that means. Um, how to get your rental property in a landlord friendly state. So uh, overall, that is the um, unlimited titles uh, section. You get all these different, um, you know, categories. It's somewhat broad at this point. Um, I'm kind of interested in or intrigued in, to see what they're going to do with the software going forward. It's pretty basic at this point. I think it does have a nice UI, um, but it's just very simple. There's just, you literally just click a button and it pops out a title for very broad categories. Uh, so, you know, I think that one idea is that if they could start, um, once you click on this, if it could go in and, and show you dozens of smaller niches inside, I think that this could be more powerful for people. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's kind of a, it's a little gimmicky. Um, the, this is definitely not something that I'm going to just like tell you to run to grab this software. Um, I think that if you have any AI softwares or even chat GPT, it's going to be able to produce some very specific, really high quality, um, titles for you. Um, so it's not something that I, this is definitely not a tool that I would say is needed. Might be kind of nice to have, but definitely not like a must have. What do you guys think about this? If you made it all the way um, to the end of the review, leave a comment below, say, Hey, I watched uh, the whole video. Um, it's kind of crazy that I, that this video is this long for such a simple software. I apologize if you're annoyed that this was a long video, but I want to show you all this and the, you know, the ins and outs of this, cause you don't really get a good sample. There's no, you only get to sample one part of the software. And I really want to dive in and really show you all the categories and you can make a, uh, an informed decision if this is the software for you. So if you liked this, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to learn wire. So you get more in-depth long form review content videos like this. Until next time, take care.